In this video, we're going to see our first example of using Dijkstra's algorithm. Now, for our network here, we're going to try and find the shortest distance from S to T. And for each of the vertices, I have drawn a box ready. In the previous video, I introduced what these boxes were and what values go where. So let's see the algorithm play out. So we're starting from S. So the order of labeling goes in the top left box. So it's the first one that I've considered. So I'm going to label it with one in the top left. And because at S I've gone zero distance, I will put zero in the top right hand box because that's my final value at S. There are no working values to consider. So that box is just left empty. Now from S, we look at all of the routes out of S, and we see that it would take 5 to get to A. So 5 goes into the working values box for A. 6 to get to B, so 6 goes into the working values box for B. And then 2 for C. Okay, so once we've got that, the next vertex that we consider is the one with the smallest working value. So C gets picked next because we've got 2, 6 and 5. So 2 is the smallest, so C gets picked next and so it gets the order of labelling as 2 and the final value as 2. Okay, That's the working value going into the final value box. Now from C I can go to B, so 2 plus 2 would be 4 which is better than 6, so I'm going to put comma 4. Okay, so 4 is another working value and a better working value for B. 2 plus 12 would be 14, so the working value of 14 goes in for T. I've now exhausted all the possible routes out of C, so I now choose the next smallest working value and that identifies the next vertex to consider. So we have 14, 4 and 5, so B is the next one, so that's going to get labelled 3. Now, you don't go back along any vertex, okay, you just keep pressing on. So we've got 4 plus 4 would be 8, so 8 goes into the working value for D. And we've got 4 plus 8 is 12, which is better than the 14 that's there. So we're going to put comma 12 in there. So I've exhausted all the roots out, so final working value for B is 4. Okay, so we've now got 12, 8, and 5. 5 is the next smallest. So this gets the order of labelling of 4 and the final value of 5. 5 plus 4 is 9, which is not better than 8. Okay, so because it's not better, I don't write anything down. Okay, I only work, write in a new working value if it is better than the one that is previously there. Okay, so I don't write 9 in. Okay, so I've exhausted all the roots out of A, so the next smallest would be D. So this gets picked next, so it's got 5 there, and the final value would be 8. 8 plus 3 would be 11, which is better than 12. So that gets written in there, and that's exhausted all roots out of D. Now T is the only one I haven't visited, so it gets labelled with 6. Final value, 11. So the shortest distance from S to T is 11. Okay, that is the answer to that question. Now what's convenient about Dijkstra's algorithm is it also tells you the shortest distance from S to D, which is 8, and the shortest distance from S to A is 5, and the shortest distance from S to B is 4, and the shortest distance from S to C is 2. So it actually tells you the shortest distance from S to all of the other vertices. Okay, so it's a really convenient thing to know. Now we might get asked to actually find the root. What would be the root the shortest that gives you that shortest distance? So the easiest way to look at it is to start from the end point, so at t, and work your way backwards. So we've got 11 take away 3 gets us to 8, so that's all right. So to d. 11 take away 8 is 3, which isn't 4, and 11 take away 12 is minus 1, which isn't 2. So they don't form part of the root. 
So once you're there, you go eight take away four. Well, it's four, not five. Eight take away four is four. So that's the next bit. So we're going to B. Then four take away six, no. Four take away two, yep, that works. So to C. And then clearly back to S. So S, C, B, D, T is the root, and that is of length 11. Okay, so that is how we can find the shortest distance from one point to another in a network using Dijkstra's algorithm and also find the root through.